Good afternoon and welcome to the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day, or one of two plays of the day. So yeah, this is Juniper. Nice, beautiful, bearish golden gap here in Juniper today. I forgot how much of a snail sometimes Juniper is, though. Haven't traded this for a while. Had a nice move today. Very clean, very clean entry, very clean everything about it. Went to the target. Uh, didn't go to a dream target. Didn't really expect it to go to a dream target today. And once it started getting snaily, I realized, be realistic here. Um, of course, the market's very bullish today, too. Not initially out of the gate this morning, but this is done for the day. And actually hit out of this at the low of the day. Good exit on this. Good, perfect entry in this, perfect exit. Really, really play this as well as anyone could have possibly even played it. So let's go over it. What I wanted us to do immediately this morning was push back a bit. And I wanted it to do that to take it. It did. This, this, this behaved well. Rated it very well per my system. It was a top pick. Watched it, did it, and it worked. And it did exactly what I wanted to do. It, it couldn't have behaved any better except for it could have fallen more off a planet. Again, sometimes things go to the dream target, sometimes they don't. Stock opened, and I actually called a trade in here, but it never hit. If anybody preempted it, where I said to put the stop, held. <laughs> really, really know, know my numbers here. Anyways, stock triggered, boom, and dropped. And here basically is the morning money move. And as it turns out, this ended up being the low of the day. I had a great exit on this, beautiful entry, uh, nice move here in Juniper today. And that's it. And, and I pretty much saw that it was done then. And uh, this could have set up and followed through in the 15 minute. It could have. It, it, it did, okay, but it just didn't have the follow through. This, this got everybody out pretty much in the gap. And then the morning down into itself. So the low of the day was set for this at 10 a.m. And the stock wasn't going to have any more selling in it today because it all occurred really in the gap and then into the morning period. And could it have sold off more today? Yes. Yes, it could have. It wouldn't need to be more pressurized for this to happen. And again, this is a bank. You have a bullish market that's happening right now today. It's summer. It's the middle of the afternoon. Uh, things tend to not have afternoon moves that much during the summer unless they're absolutely just capitulating. And so I think uh, I always like to trade the morning. I usually like to be out of everything in the morning, but specifically in the summer, even if you'd like to trade the afternoons, the summer is really not the time to do that. Unless something opens and swooshes, you know, or something has such a big target left in it, or you're still in it and you're still up and you're just watching it go down. Uh, I think it's a good idea to be out of morning, tr you know, trades in the summer, really, at least by lunchtime. Or at least you got to have something booked. You have to have 80, 90 percent of the trade booked. So really nice gap here in Juniper, okay? And the stock had initially closed. This was last night on Tuesday. Had closed at 24.82. Kind of a bearish looking bar here for yesterday. And then it had an earnings report last night. Or was it this morning? I don't remember. Anyways, then it got down here this morning. Open at 2264 um, and had a good move in here. So very happy with Jennifer. Perfect entry, perfect exit. Beautiful activity here. This does kind of have days where it can be a baby snail. And today was one of those days. It had a normal trading day today. This really does have potential for some follow through. I don't think so immediately after the gap today. But in the longer term trend, this should have some follow through here. We'll have to watch it. And uh, nice move today. And uh, stocks with show call of the day here, play of the day in Juniper. You just got to do everything you get up and you do every day. And I was talking about this in the live trading room. You got to look at trading like day trading. I'm talking about day trading. I'm not talking about long term investing, core swing trading. I'm talking about day trading. If day trading is what you do and if this is what you want to do and you want to be good at it, you have to look at it like a job. You get up. You do your job every day. When you're done with your job, then you go home. And you get to go home early every day because your job doesn't last till 4 o'clock. Your job is you do your job, boom, you're done, you go home. You have to take trading seriously like that and look at it like a job. Otherwise, people get stuck in trades. They're in them all day. They're trading at 4 o'clock. They're making money. They're losing money. They're making money. They're giving it back. I look at my trading like a job. You get up, you do your job, boom, you go home. You have to be in a routine. One thing, one focus, one thing. And I do one thing. I do one strategy, my golden gap strategy. I rate the gap. I get up in the morning. I rate the gap. I have my top picks. I rate the picks. I do the top watch. If it doesn't set up, I might do another pick. I may do one thing. I may do two. That's it. You look at it as a job. You book the money. You take the trade. You book the money. You're out. You have to look at it that way. All right? It's very, very planned, very specific. 
And that's the way to do it. I think a lot of people don't make it as traders because they don't look at it like that. But you have to if you want to do well. <laughs> this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. This is Jennifer, the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day. The Golden Gap class is this weekend. Deadline to sign up is Friday. If those of you that want to do it haven't gotten me the papers back, you got to get everything back by Friday the 25th. Class is this weekend, July 26th and 27th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.